What up guys? We're about to do a little fishing in Savannah. We're gonna be using top water only. Awesome sunset, check this out. So, I brought one rod and reel tonight. I brought one of my Cast King reels and I think a $40 rod that I bought from Walmart, like a Hank Parker signature rod and then uh, a Molex Buzzbait, black and blue. And I like the silverish white one, I forget what color it's considered, but I brought the black and blue tonight. So I'm just gonna fish top water until the sun sets and see if we can't catch anything on this, because it has been a while. So it'll be a different video for you guys, I think you're gonna like it. I'm working on the uh, mic setup on the GoPro real quick. I'm gonna mic this baby up and then we'll get right into it. And here we go. Got the one and only. And I guess we'll bring the pliers spare GoPro batteries and scale just in case I plan on fishing the pond out there closer to the uh, highway but let me make a cast right here preliminary cast just to see what we got going and get used to fishing this thing and uh, you know maybe we'll get a hit over here on this pond to start off these buzz baits will sink on you real fast like it's a it's a heavy lure um, and I've got it set up with a trailer hook more on that later but um, it's, it's gonna just straight sink, watch this, it just boom. And uh, the idea is that it stays on the top, on the surface, and you just carry it along, and that piece in the front stirs up and causes a lot of commotion on the water, it really gets the bass attention. And so what you have to do is I stop it and lift the rod tip up to get it to the surface really quick because it likes to sink extra fast. And then I start cranking pretty hard right off the bat. And then I can slow it down to the right pace. You want to retrieve it as slow as possible without it sinking. So here's what I mean. You're bringing it in and then, and then you're, you start slowing it down and you notice maybe it's like underwater. You need to pick it up a little bit, just like that. Make sure it stays above the surface. That's where you're going to get the hits. Couple buzz bait pointers. Now let's get over to where I really think we might catch some fish. Down here is where we want to be. Let me just cast one along the shoreline real fast, real fast. We'll see what happens. Okay. Had our fun over there. Let's get to the real stuff. Whoa. I've never seen build up like this. Look at the line where the water normally is. And look at where it is now. The blue dye. How they keep the water out here so blue. Huh. Well, this is going to be different. Well, I don't think that's the best spot for buzz bait. Step on down a little further. Oh, a bass right here. A bass right here. Oh my gosh, right by the shore. Oh, did you see that? We got to get him, boys. Dang. Oh, yes. Come on. Oh, this reel is terrible. There's like, no. He's swimming right towards us, or he's very small. <laughs> wow. Cool. Hit it way out there. I really was hardly paying attention. Ugh. And for how active you were out there, you're not moving now. All right, cool. Got him, boys. Top water fishing. Sweet. Man, this reel. I think it's probably one of my slower gear ratios. I just feel like, it feels like you're not getting anywhere while you're reeling the fish in. Um, good news is, I got a new reel on the way. A fairly expensive one that I'm gonna do a review on sometime soon. And uh, should be good. Well, I don't know where that guy came from, but the guy that was here by the bank, I think was a little bigger, just slightly. I'd give the guy we caught a pound, pound and a half, and I'd say that one that was hanging out by the bank was maybe two. 
normally when I get hits on the buzz bait, it's towards the edge or it's like where you can visibly see, you know, like a tree sticking up or, you know, just some sort of structure that way they're hanging out next to it. It's usually not just out in the middle like that one I felt like was more so at least. It wasn't just right next to the shoreline. So I'm curious how deep this is right here and, uh, and thinking to myself, maybe they'll bite anywhere out here because maybe it is all just pretty shallow. Someone's mad at the Papa John's driver. Always check your bait or lure after you throw it because there's a good chance if you're using many different types of things that the line's going to be wrapped around the hook or uh, something along those lines. So just double check it. Make sure if you were to get a bite, you'd really be able to reel the fish in instead of missing it over something little like like the, the hook not being able to to snag them. All right, let's venture over here. We got one on that side. Let's give this a shot, maybe over here by the concrete deal and the tree and the dock. See if anything happens. Oh, that's a tree. Yeah, I don't know. Not necessarily feeling it over here. All right, well, I'd say that was a success. We got what we came here for. We went ahead and got the top water bass. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you liked the video. Uh, click the like button if you please, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. <gasps>